Belfast has a tremendous rich heritage, particularly in the innovation and engineering sphere we've excelled. Building on Northern Ireland's legacy. It's that mix and buzz from the aerospace industry, the engineering capacity, the advanced materials industry. We are building on our America's Cup innovations, combining with technologies from motorsport and the aerospace sector to create something truly innovative. Our hydrofoils are really going to change how maritime transportation happens. It's basically a flying boat. Worldwide and in the UK, carbon reduction targets are ambitious because they have to be. 30% of shipping carbon emissions are produced by voyages close to the home. All you see is just smoke coming out of chimneys and the smell in general from the pollution. It's also going to be much more comfortable and quieter for the passengers on board because there's going to be uh, no, no noisy diesel engines. I feel like this project really, really is important to me and just to be able to go over to the sea and not worry about putting the sea or putting the air. Belfast Maritime Consortium involves a mix of established global companies like ourselves, Spirit Air Systems here in Belfast, who bring advanced composite manufacturing expertise. And we also collaborate with innovative startups, academia, and local government. The beauty of the consortium is that we work together designing and making all of the components, hydrofoils and propulsion system, all manufactured and assembled right here. It's really exciting that many different sectors, including aerospace, are working so closely together to create a new era of shipbuilding here. We're really excited about the new style of shipbuilding and the amazing scope of this project in terms of engineering and technology breakthroughs. The specific design of the hydrofoil will reduce emissions of these ferries, allowing them to go faster, cheaper, essentially. And to be part of that is really quite exciting. Belfast has always been a city of entrepreneurs and that's what drives those economies of the future. But most importantly, it creates more and better jobs for our young people. We have students coming through all the time. This consortium and this project gives another source of inspiration for those students to give them something really to work towards and try and seize the opportunities that the local engineering sector is now presenting to them. It is a fantastic opportunity for development, not just of individual, but of the, the technologies available. And again, as I say, companies are developed, new products are brought forward, there's job creation there. Industries change, and it's right we should adapt to. Leveraging the strength of the UK maritime sector and providing real collaboration between different industries, it can work together for the greater good. One of the central themes for all of us stakeholders in Belfast and Northern Ireland at this moment in time is inclusive growth for all communities. And one of the very exciting aspects of the Maritime Consortium project is that it will bring a benefit for all of the communities in Belfast and Northern Ireland. You've really got that, that combined partnership approach which is going to deliver something of huge economic advantage to Northern Ireland.